Essential workers in two dozen cities nationwide are expected to take part. Here in our area, healthcare workers have also planned strikes. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in Baldwin Hills with more. Sid. In fact, the caravan here, we've got well over 100 cars participating in the camera and the caravan. They're going to go to a McDonald's about a mile away, along with social injustice that they're protesting. They're also demanding here a living wage. Take a look. They started arriving here at the Rouse at Obama Boulevard in La Brea around 9 this morning. They were ta taping posters on their vehicles and to the Israeli caravan. From here, they're heading, as I mentioned, to a McDonald's just over a mile away. This has been organized by labor union SEIU along with protesting social injustice. These protesters, many of them work at nursing home and home care nursing home employees and home care workers they're joining a nationwide strike demanding fundamental changes of systemic racism in the workplace according to what they're saying economy and society one of the things they really really want is a living wage because of their work environment we are on the front line just like nurses and doctors we go to our consumers to take care of them a lot of them are, feel that they're held hostage in their homes and they're afraid of this virus. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, we have, we're here for every last breath that, for every last breath was taken at the hands of anyone who saw nothing but color. Again, the rally here just started. They're going to go down the road about a mile to McDonald's there. There are a number of protest caravans and rallies like this going on here in Southern California. We'll have more for you coming up on the afternoon editions of Eyewitness News. But for now, reporting live in Baldwin Hills, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News.